Hi everybody. I've been pretty busy lately trying to get that <laughs> website that I keep mentioning finished. Still have some stuff to do, but I've been working on it. And then I also have my gel press print project to work on. So I do have things that I want to edit for this channel. I just can't get around to doing it. Just a little sneak peek of something that's been done and waiting to be edited to share with you. So I thought, since I don't have time to edit a video, I'll do a journal flip through. I have never done one before. So I thought maybe you would enjoy it. Now this is my very first Dilutions journal. And not every single page is complete. There are some that, honestly, I don't know if I ever will finish. So I'm considering it done. And if I do ever go back and do those pages, then that's a bonus. So you've noticed my cover is decorated. This is the only cover of all my Dilution albums that has something done to it. And this was actually a tutorial for Ranger. I don't know, probably, I don't know, quite a few years ago, I think. So I left it back pretty plain, like I didn't add any stamped images or anything. And it says we're all a little dilutional. And I'm not going to tell you what each product is because that video would take forever. I never did do anything to the inside either. I don't know if I ever will. Like, this is old. I wish I had written... Oh, this one says January 16th, 2016. And I don't normally put the dates on stuff. I wish I did, but I don't. So, this is four years old. This was, I think, fairly close to first when I started art journaling. Oh, this one is 2015. It's 2015. So I used to date it for a little bit. Sometimes I miss, like, I wish I knew how to do some of this now. Like, I feel like I've lost some of my just easygoing know-how. Like there's, I think that's pretty like texture paste or um, modeling paste through Crafters Workshop stencils, dictionary paper. These few pages, I believe these were following prompts for, I feel like there's something called Get Messy or something. This is not my style anymore, but I still like it. <laughs> this one's a bit of a mess. This is actually, um, what's it called? Wax paper that had a bunch of sprays on it, and I glued it down to my journal page. Like all this here. And yeah, that's purple. Chances are it's pink that mixed with the blue to make purple. <laughs> Dilutions page. This one, for the longest time, it was just the black with the white sprayed on it, and I had nothing else done to it. And I wanted to keep it simple, so I just took a Jane Davenport girl from her sheets. She has a book, beautiful pattern papers that I haven't done anything with because I love the paper so much. I know that's sad. That's exactly why I didn't buy Dina Wakeley's um, books with all her papers in it because I knew I wouldn't want to cut it up because they were all so beautiful. So I never did buy any. I like this one.
<laughs> I like this saying too. Sometimes I wish I was a bird so I could fly over certain people and I'll say poop on their heads. <laughs> this is one that I never finished, but I don't know. For the longest time it was just like this. And then I added that. And I think I'm going to call it done. Yeah, see, I'm no longer dating things. And this, like, I feel like I love how this looks, but I feel like it's missing, like, a focal point, but... Who says it needs a focal point, right? I've got some pinched paper. We have some embossing, which looks so cool. And I should remember to do it. Like, I look at some of this stuff, and I'm like, how did I do that? That's cool. But it was before I did videos. That's intentional purple. Wow. I like it. It's just something drawn by me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. These are two separate pages. This isn't finished, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it or if I will do anything else with it. But it's definitely not finished. Maybe I could go in with a black border, like one of Diane's, or like her ruler, trace the ruler and then color the border in black and doodle in it. That would look pretty. Hmm. I just need to do a, a video for you guys to figure it out. <laughs> this I'm calling done. <laughs> I like this one too. This was another prompt one. And I can remember it being something about um, having too much on your plate. So that's just a bunch of plates I drew. And it's got a lot. <laughs> and then I just did some private journaling. And this was back in 2015. You can see my album is falling apart. Look, more purple. That's a lot of purple. So when did my distaste for purple begin? I thought I just kind of always didn't like it. Hmm. This I can remember was a prompt too in 2015. This is, um, probably can't see it on camera, but there's a lot of texture. It's gauze and it's glued down to the shape of the heart. And the, some of the string gauze in this here. It's really cool. This is actually fabric. Stamp Dina's bird onto fabric and cut it out. This is I tried Diane's technique, the quilt or patchwork or whatever she calls it. I'm not a fan. I like hers, but I don't like how mine turned out. This was a tutorial I did for Ranger, I think. No. No, it wasn't. It's too complicated, I think. I don't think I did this for Ranger. I think I did this for myself. 
So I have these flaps and it unfolds like, you know how you would take a box and overlap the flaps to close it? I had an idea to do it for the journal pages. <laughs> so I'll have to show you bits at a time. I think this is pretty cool. I like it. So up top, we have Tim Holtz, the dog stickers. Do what you love, know your, know your own bone. Gnaw at it, bury it, unearth it, and gnaw it still. <laughs> and then, this is really big. <laughs> I'm gonna move over. The early bird catches the worm, but I have never been one for worms. I am not sure what the late bird catches, but I will feast with him today. Probably porridge. <laughs> I just love those weird quotes. <laughs> Never give up, for you never know when something amazing is waiting right around the corner. Try to show you the bottom. If you liked it, then you should have put a bird on it. Um, when you're, oh, this is a sweet one. When you're a kid, you color with reckless abandon. You color outside the lines. You color however you feel. No, oh, you color however you feel. Blue elephants, purple trees, red bears, green oceans. It's all good. As you get older, though, everyone tells you to stay inside the lines, to color everything just like you see it. You end up painting by numbers. Whether you actually paint or whether you write or sing or dance or get... Or, oh, or act or direct. I think you should create what you feel. Create outside the lines. I want to watch green oceans and red bears. I'd love to listen to purple trees. And I long to read blue elephants. I should have wrote down who wrote it, but I didn't. So then... I close it up and to let me know which flaps that I did, I put little arrows on the ones that should be outside. So it's not actually hard to fold up. I really like it. This was as theme as I get. This was for Halloween. I think they're funny. This doesn't belong in this journal, <laughs> like really. It is so out there. And my poor fish that I really loved how I drew it got wrecked. This was some pictures from when I went to Newfoundland. Um, and it's just talking about, I'll read it. Whenever we travel, it's always to Newfoundland. One day we would like to go somewhere else but we do miss our family and want to see them as much as we can. So off to Newfoundland we go. It is a beautiful province with lots to see. We've seen more of Newfoundland since we moved out of the province than we ever did when we lived there. Beautiful place that you take for granted when you live there. Love it and in my heart it will always be home, but I don't know if I could live there again or not. I'm sure I could grow accustomed to it again if I had to, but right now I feel more like a tourist when I go there, which is okay because I appreciate it more. And these are actually from photos that I took while I was in Newfoundland and then I sketched them in my journal. Which if I had time, I wouldn't mind having a journal that's dedicated to this style. So that's the thing, I like so many different things that I don't get to do everything I enjoy. my quirky face and this didn't start back in 2015 or anything like I don't work like page to page to page like I go all throughout the album so this wouldn't have been until I don't know the earliest a couple years ago I like this one 
this is the first time I drew a couple. <laughs> These are two separate pages. I love this. It took a lot of time, but I love it. It's like modeling paste through a stencil and then going in with watercolor. Love that. This was a Ranger tutorial. I think it was like around Easter. Yeah, I remember because I drew the bunny and I provided it as a free template, a free download on the Ranger website. Lots of purple. <laughs> it's a whole lot of purple. This is the first one I got into Mischief Circus. He looks angry. And this was a Ranger tutorial because it was around Father's Day and they wanted something kind of like that so I have some men and then this opens up to have some journaling about you know my dad's and Mark my husband <laughs> this was <laughs> There was a stencil by Crafters Workshop with flamingos. I mean, sometimes there's stencils that I know I'm never going to use. And I want to challenge myself to use the flamingos. And I actually like them there. It says, why fit in when you were born to stand out? And then this is supposed to be some weird kind of bird. <laughs> this one is old. I know it's in the back of the book, but it is old. That's probably around 2015. That's more Jane Davenport. It's just something I try, and it's actually not finished, or I didn't think it was finished, but now that I'm looking at it, I think I'll call it done. <laughs> just experimenting. Not a fan of that. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Handle every situation like a dog. If you can't eat it or play with it, just pee on it and walk away. a whole lot of distress crowns I think and this isn't finished see my album is all apart I don't know if that will get finished or not This isn't finished. Did this ages ago. Stamp some images for a possibility to go in there. This has such cool texture because it was like extra paint and I brayered it on. It just creates this beautiful texture. Oh, I did glue it down after. That was canvas paper. And that's another crafter's workshop stencil, but it was all colors. And then I just went 
in with a stencil. And I actually liked it, so I just glued it onto the page. I should probably add a quote or something here. I forgot I had finished that. And that's the last page. That's just a bunch of doodles. So they get pretty thick and falling apart. Like that is like out from everything. It doesn't want to stay in the book anymore. So that is my first ever, actually, I don't know if it's my very first ever journal. Just hold on. I think it's downstairs in the basement. I did have another journal that I handmade. It was pretty thick and it's not finished by any means, like far from it. But I just stopped using it once I bought Dollar's journal. So maybe I'll find that one one day and do a flip through if you're interested. So I do hope you enjoyed this. Sorry I didn't have like a tutorial or anything for you, but like I said, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll have time to edit video for this project and share that one with you next week. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.